I'd like to first and foremost point out that I beat Shaq in a three-point contest at his home. <laughs> That's right. No. In his actual home in Orlando. It's available on the Internet for all of your viewing pleasure. So please feel free to uh, tweet it. Post it, call one of your congressmen. That's not really, that's not, that's not really something to, First to brag all, about. First of all, yes, it is. That's not really it's something to brag about. If calling himself no. the Black Steph Curry, exactly. then I can well, brag about exactly. beating him. I mean, he calls himself a lot of things. I, could, I couldn't <laughs> beat Steph Curry, though, to be fair. I, I like the fact that Shaq said that he put, like, um, all the big guys out of business. Everybody said, you know, it's probably my fault. I roughed them all up. Everybody started shooting jumpers. Like, he's like, he's like, he just took like the, like the dinosaurs. He just, yeah, he just he he's extinct. Them exactly. all. He's telling the truth there. He's telling yeah. the truth there. What's crazy, though, is that to even be able to attempt a three in his day and age, which wasn't that long ago, he had to intercept a pass meant for one of his teammates. It just tells you how far the game has evolved for the big man. Yeah, no question. That's a great play, though. They intercepted the pass to Penny, <laughs> and he shoots and makes it. But, yeah, no, the, the game has really evolved. Um, you don't have to have a three-point game if you're a big guy. If you can roll, catch, finish. Clint Capella shows that. Uh, Montrez Harrell shows that for the Clippers. These are very successful guys. But if you add that to your game, like Jokic, now you're going to see him. He's able to shoot the three, but he can pass from outside. So what's happening is so many of the players aren't big guys, aren't playing back to the basket anymore. They're playing face to the basket. They're facing up, and they're, they're passing skills and everything. So that you can incorporate them in their offense completely different. So I, I like it. I, 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 I like the, the new NBA and the new big guys. Well, I, I like the versatility, and particularly these guys from a young age, they're learning how to play, you know, back to the basket, but also out on the perimeter, learning how to shoot threes. You know, you think back to, to Shaq's day, maybe, you know, your day coming of age, yeah. you, you, as a big guy, you play with your back to the basket. Yeah. I'd love to see a young Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, coming through the pipeline in today's NBA. You know, how would he play? Because he was so dominant and so physical and was, you know, you give him the ball, it was two automatic points in the paint. But how would you, it'd be interesting to see like a young Shaq right now playing in today's right. game. I watch Philly because I'm telling you what Joel Embiid is getting like that. He's getting there. They they switch. They have a small guy on him. He is punishing that small guy. You're seeing teams now having to change their defensive scheme. Like we can't we can't uh, switch. switch. Yeah. And you know half these not half three quarters of the big guys now you switch a guard on them. You're not even worried about it. Matter of fact, half the time you switch a guard on them, they don't even roll in the post. They just go to the elbow or the top of the key and try to play one-on-one -on -one with the guy. Joel Embiid goes in the post and he punishes small guys. I mean he puts a licking on him, knocks him over, and scores over him and gets a foul called on you. I like that type of basketball. And, and what's funny is you, you just brought up a point how now they switch and they put a small guy on a big, and now it, it's not a mismatch. And no. I, I remember I played in Phoenix, and one of the, you know, Channing Fry was a, was a great sort of stretch four, stretch five, and he'd run screen and roll with Steve Nash, and they'd switch, and the guard was on him. And Channing would go out to the three-point line. I know. Yeah. And I'm like, Channing, go on the post. Yeah. You know? and, yeah. But yeah. now that's what most of these bigs do. Yep. And it's just a different game. But I do love the versatility, the skill set of a lot of these bigs. And not everyone has the, the, the power, the size, the ability to dominate inside like an MB. Mm -hmm. But a lot of these guys, players now, are re sort of redefining what the big guy is. And so I, I actually think it's a, it's, a, it's a fun thing to watch. It's the mindset, too, though. You have to have a mindset that you're going to punish a small guy. Yeah. And Embiid has that, and, and all these big guys got to develop some of that. You just can't allow. You can't if you're a seven foot center. You cannot allow a point guard to be guarding you. You got to go beat the hell out. Yeah. of Yeah, you, you you get embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, they switch the little guy. Beat the hell out of that. <laughs>